Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kilowatt Challenge from Heathrow Airport. Well, this bit is anyway. <laughs> so, in today's episode there will be some of this. Should I be wearing gloves? Well, obviously. There'll be a little bit of this. Oops. And there'll be lots and lots of this. <laughs> but before all that, it's off to the man cave. So let me give you some context here. Imagine my disappointment when I'd driven all the way to Stockholm to buy a load of these some e-bike batteries, only to open the first one on film in one take on my new Gucci camera, my little pocket Osmo thingy, to find out that it was absolutely wrecked inside. <laughs> Watch my face. Enjoy. So I thought it might be a good idea if we open this particular battery um, to have a look inside um, not because there aren't enough battery harvesting videos on YouTube already but because this one has clearly had a very bad day that is a thermal issue and let me tell you oh it stinks that's the machine spirits all day long. It's a 36 volt, 11.6 amp power, 417 watt hour battery, which has come from an e-bike, electric cycle. <clears throat> and it obviously has had a catastrophic failure. There's no charge left in it anymore. And it absolutely sting stinks. And there's a noise coming from inside as well. Oh. Ooh, 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 hello. What's this lot? What? Look at this. There's stuff coming out of it. Can you see that? That's not good. <clears throat> wow. Oh, is that? Yep. Yeah. That's not good. Let's get it open, shall we? Let's see what we got. You know the machine spirits? The smoke that escapes when you do something stupid. That smell, it's like a cloud here now. will be in here, I wonder. There must have been like a major short circuit or impact damage or... What can cause that? I mean, I know, I know the cells are a bit dangerous if you mistreat them or you short circuit them or... But what could cause? complete meltdown like that. So wrong with the screws. Doesn't make good TV, me just taking screws out. Yeah. Wow, well that just pulled off. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Doing enough the light. There look. It just pulled off. That's scary. And you might get a, oops, might get a better look at the damage now. All the screws are dropping out. <laughs> Right, <clears throat> let me get a flat blade screwdriver. Uh, 
Oh, look at the state of this. Look at the state of this. Got to show you this if I can. Hopefully I can capture this on film. Looks like it's been underwater or something. You know what? It's not the batteries. It's the circuit board has had a complete meltdown. I can show you that. Let me get on the side. That is a power transistor. That's a NCE80. Can't read it because it's melted. Look at the state of this. Am I going to be able to rescue these? Wow. Wow, has this been underwater or something? God, it stinks. Let's just get this out of here. Without causing any short circuits. Look at the state of it. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> oh, it stinks. It smells really bad. Right. Going into teenager mode. This is water damage or something. Crikey. Oof. It's just all melted. So here is this circuit board here. On there, and on the other side is the thermal issue. So it wasn't the batteries. You know what might be interesting? Let's take these cells off. These cells have been closest to the, the damage. Let's see if I can get any kind of voltage from them. And also, I'm interested in this fuse to see whether this went. Oh, it stinks. God, it stinks. Let's take a look at this fuse. Here we go. The fuse did not blow with all of this damage. What the hell? That's scary. Right. Here's the cells. Cue the speed up footage. I do hope all this stuff is not poisonous. <laughs> Can somebody write a comment below? Should I be wearing gloves? Well, obviously. But is it okay to just be surrounded in... What is this? Ugh. One.
dead. Goes in there. Point zero zero three volts. Dead. That's point zero zero four. Dead. Point zero zero four. Point zero two volts. Surely not. Aha. Seven point two five. Ooh, what? That's water damage, isn't it? Isn't that water damage? Can you see the line? Of corrosion. It's got to be. None of these are keepers, are they? None. Oh, that's a shame. I spent twenty dollars on this pack. <sighs> well, you win some, you lose some. I might get one out of this, or two. Well, that, that group of fours coming in at 3.6. That's good. That's coming in at 3.6. And this one's totally dead. Point zero one two. The middle four, 3.6. The end four, 3.6. Now the question I want to put out there, would you trust these batteries? Would you charge these up, test them, and then would you install them in your power wall? God, it stinks. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should break them down into individual cells and then test each one. Test them for the merit that may be left in them. Water damage. What does that do? It short circuits, doesn't it? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll break them down into individual cells, clean them up and see what's left. I hope I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> so there you have it. And would you like to guess how many cells I was able to recover from that battery? Eight. Just eight. And look at the state of them. <laughs> would you use them? No. I think I'm gonna put these over here and they're gonna be there for a very long time. So the moral of the story is, when you're talking to your recycler and you're buying laptop batteries, e-bike batteries, drill batteries, I haven't got one, let's pretend that's a drill battery, <laughs> have a look for signs of damage because actually physical damage, especially sort of thermal, hot, melted areas are very good indications that something's gone catastrophically wrong inside, just like this battery had. But I think the most important one to look out for, or perhaps the most common one to look out for, is water damage. Now it might not be pretty, it might not be obvious to start with when you look at the, um, the actual battery casing. But if you have a, a good look at it and give it a clean, give it a wipe, if there's a, a residue, like a brown, dusty, watery residue, or the label looks like it's got a bit of water damage, if I was you, I'd give it back to your friendly recycler and say, not that one, thanks. Give me another one instead. So, there you have it. Another episode done. Next video is pretty much all ready to go. Sorry for the delay of being away on holiday. And we shall see you very, very, very soon, in fact, with a road trip. 
a special guest um, interview and also much more of this type of stuff. So like, subscribe, comment, all that other youtube stuff which I've really, really got to learn. Don't forget my subscribe sign. Took me ages to make that. Thanks Colin Furs for the idea and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.